Hey everyone, it's Redstone Engineer 8 here. And last time I left off, I was actually creating some more of the sandstone to fill up the top of the stairs. And actually that's looking quite nice. So I was thinking of uh, coming up with some new ideas to build, but usually that comes in time. So I have that pretty much planned out. Let's get some more of the sand. I was thinking that once I have a little bit more time, I'll try and create a better series for this channel. Uh, not that that this, not that this channel doesn't create awesome ideas for me to explore on another channel. However, I would feel that if this channel actually created more of something to just listen to and do your own thing. I would like to think of this as more of like a uh, background noise rather than it being watched. It's clearly up to your decision uh, whether to watch this or not. However, I do feel that it is necessary to create content to listen to in the background. I've noticed when I listen to dub techno, uh, a lot of people don't really know too much ab about dub techno. A lot of people think it's ambient music, but you actually have to search for the decent music within dub techno in order to understand because there's certain dub techno artists that are very different and shape the way dub techno is presented. Dub techno actually uh, revolves more about atmospheres and a like rolling techno beat behind it that's either slowed down or sped up through different means or different variations. I found that Deep Chord, spelled with one word, is actually uh, the artist that I really like. So let's get another shovel. Yeah, I was thinking that the series would provide people with more content to watch and listen. But the sole purpose I was thinking of making another uh, series was for the fact that people just listen to it in the background and get their stuff done. I found that when I listen to my background music and... Yeah, it's pretty good. However, I need to find like a better source material. I found that dub techno, as I've been trying to get to the uh, subject matter of this sentence or this idea, Dub techno gives me the relief that I can't seem to find with other music. With dubstep, it creates massive explosive ideas. With dub techno, it's able to cultivate my mind in a new way uh, that I didn't really think of before because usually when I'm just in my own mind and just working, just like endlessly nonstop, <laughs> that can be kind of... Uh, kind of dull and boring to some, but I, I really, really enjoy working. It is one of the things that can keep me motivated. And by work, I mean working on my own stuff like music and art and who knows, maybe generating a resume. Man, these shovels break pretty fast. I might have to make another diamond shovel. However, I feel like uh, I'll just need a few more stacks of sand and then we'll get to making some more stairs and finish up that house yay and then we're gonna add some cool features once we build some uh what is it uh that's it diamond pickaxe to mine some of the obsidian that we're going to be making i want to create these uh this these i want to create this atmosphere, this product, this... No, I'm not gonna talk like that. I just thought it was funny to do that. Sometimes you find yourself mistaking words and then you can kind of make fun of them. They kind of jump back instead of trying to be, I don't know, out of your mind. And that's kind of fun. Sometimes, but not all the time. It can be actually pretty irritating after a while for some people. I noticed that when YouTubers do like certain skits, 
but they keep reusing the same material over and over and over and over and over again. It just gets boring. And then I don't watch any of their new content because it has this new format where everything has to involve a video game. I mean, like, I love video games to death. I love watching people play video games. And I also like playing video games myself. Uh, but there's a huge disconnect with some of these videos is that you really want some of the creators of the videos to create the content that's going to generate the most, um, not the most views because I hate using that YouTuber analytical terminology. It doesn't really translate exactly to like what I'm doing here. What I'm doing here is so that way I can reflect back on these videos to, to like ease out my mind. If you want to watch them, that's purely for you guys and your entertainment or whatever. Use them however you like. But for me, I figured that just by watching my own content and getting comfortable to the awkward way I say things. And that just opens up my mind and say, hey, I need to fix this or I need to correct that. But it's on my personal list. So meaning I have, yep, I knew that I was gonna break. I have a plan that lets me know when it's time to switch things up or when it's time to really get things done. It's, it's like owning up to my own idea through my mind. It's a little bit more complex in terminology wise. However, I feel like I will explain that in time. It's kind of crazy you have to use a pickaxe to break up sandstone breaks. I guess it sort of makes sense. Not really to me. Although I found that by really By really going through and figuring out what exactly I have missed and how I can correct it with the time I have in the morning. Oh, time to go to bed. Bedtime, bedtime, time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. I got a sword in my hand and it's time to go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed. All right, cool. That sort of works like in the real life when you just go to bed and wake up in the morning. Uh, sometimes, well, our family, uh, I can't even talk today. Our family is uh, some of the most restless sleepers. It's hard for us to even get a few hours of sleep. And people will say, oh, just try this remedy or try this remedy. Uh, that doesn't really work. Our family has very massive sleep disorders and it's actually through our minds. Our minds never, ever, ever, ever take a vacation. And as you can tell, this is actually a good outlet for me because I will just like continuously talk nonstop forever, except for when it's time to learn or when it's time to work, I'll hardly say anything. And that's not good because I need to be more of a friendly person. And being friendly can invite new and amazing opportunities to the door. To the doorstep, to the walls. No, I'm not saying that lyric because you can't get me to say it. But I'm sure you guys are all thinking it. It's so 54, I'll need 10 more. Oh, a pig. I actually like the animals here in Minecraft because they're square. A lot of the stuff in Minecraft, I just absolutely adore. What's up, pig? But yeah, like everything on them is square. I wish they made like a little square for the pigtail. Anyways, I'm sure that will come in a future release. This whole new system of combat holding things and uh, the left hand versus holding things in the right hand. That's a little weird. The shield, I can understand for that. So we need three more. One, two, three. Awesome. I like to get things in even amounts so that way I'm not left with anything left over. I think I'm gonna like stop it when 
Like, I'm gonna end this episode probably a little bit early after I make a few sandstone bricks and sandstone stairs. Because you always need that. And well, I always need it for this, uh, for this sand castle I'm making. This sand castle pyramid thingy. Whatever it is, I'm sure I'll come up with a name for it. Sandstone, sandstone, sand. Awesome. All right, so we're just gonna divide those in half and we're gonna divide these in half so that way we can get even results on all four blocks to make up the blocks. I don't know if that made any sense, but it sure made sense to me when I said it. <laughs> all right, awesome. So we're getting some more stairs. I'm going to see if I can uh, let's go with 16 stairs for now. I was actually thinking about signing up for... Oh yeah, and I said I was going to make some... Uh, some sandstone bricks. Can never go wrong with some sandstone bricks. There we go. I'm gonna leave some left over. Just in case we need to make some more stairs. I know that smooth sandstone doesn't equivalent to smooth sandstone uh, stairs. That's kind of a little bit of a tricky tongue twister. So let me get up here in a second. Ah, oh, sorry, my uh, mouse was being a little bit difficult, but it's uh, it's all better now. Let's see. Oh yeah, I need to put a block down and then I can put one of the sandstones there stairs not sandstone blocks but stairs stairs I might need some more stairs I can't tell right now because this keeps messing up I'll eat here in a minute I know my food is getting quite low Oh yeah, I was gonna say that I don't understand YouTubers when they do one formula for a long time and they keep that formula and it kind of irritates me not on a good way because I don't watch the videos anymore and if the sole purpose is to get entertainment and support other people and here's how I think it works, okay? I think that when people make videos, it generates content for the subscribers to watch or the YouTubers to watch. That doesn't seem to happen. I'm actually a YouTuber, but I watch a lot of people that aren't professional. And I watch those videos because those videos give me the most value and entertainment out of that system. So let me just finish up the top. I was thinking of creating more Stairs. Yeah, it would be kind of hard to put a stair on top of a stair in order to make it even and symmetrical. So I think I'm just going to put a mini, um, a mini pyramid on top of this pyramid. Something like this. You'll see here in a second. But that's what I love to do. I love to build. Uh, maybe. This is going to be a little bit different for some people. I want that to be facing the other way. Like upside down. So maybe I should do something like this. Yeah. That seems to work. So sandstone brick. Then a stair, upside down stair. Now let's see if I can make uh, one for the opposite. So brick, then stair, upside down stair. Then we're gonna use, uh, we're just gonna break this apart. I didn't wanna do that. Although it would be cool to create a new uh, pillar block, but I think I'll remake that in quartz uh, once we head on over to the nether. This is kind of a long episode, one that I didn't predict was going to go for too long. You know, um, ideas carry on and that's the best 
thing. I'm gonna put on some torches all around the side so it looks a little bit prettier. I think I'll do that as well for the taller parts of the tower so I can see them off in the distance. Uh, let's see, I was actually thinking of creating another torch on top. You can never have too many torches when trying to make a beacon for the, for the nighttime. So I think that looks pretty cool. Let's take a look on how it will look far away. I was thinking of making sort of like a monument on the top. Oh, that's right, hunger. Awesome. Now we can sprint far away and see it. That looks pretty cool. Although it's not on the uh, pillar blocks right there. I can see it pretty far. It's actually a pretty cool... Wow. It's pretty dark in here. Um, Let's get some more torches. Like one right there. And one right there. One right here. I'm just trying to tackle the most uh, darkest spots. Ugh. Oh, cool. I put that one there. Let's see. Can I build up to it and put one up there? Come on, torch. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know if I did that on purpose or surely by accident, but this is a great way. A great way to light up the room without using um, glowstone. I'll replace certain parts of this dome with glowstone just to make it a bit ritzier. And ritzy uh, means rich. For those of you that don't know. And okay, put one up there. I'm gonna try and build up to that one. Gonna end it because we've completed the pyramid. I didn't think I was gonna do it today. But you never know if you don't put yourself out there and try new ideas. Awesome. So I've changed my mood and my attitude about doing this series and what I should do it for. Okay, so I think I'll check you guys out in the next episode. Thanks for joining. Uh, hit the subscribe button for more. If you want to check out some more of these videos click the right the bottom right would be the next video the bottom left would be the previous video i really enjoy your guys's input your comments are always welcome and i will always take your suggestions because i'm not a fake youtuber i actually don't do this for any money i don't really do this for anybody else purely my own entertainment so if you guys like it, um, be sure to let me know. And since it's nighttime, it's time to go to bed. Yeah, thanks for joining and I'll see you guys later. Peace.